So let's see what Tiffany's getting done back here. Oh uh, yeah. Digging quite the hole. Take a peek. Now we're got, not going super deep. We're only down about two feet because there's big giant rocks in here, but it's looking pretty good. So it looks like it's gotten a little deeper at that end, but that is perfectly fine. We found the old gas line because this uh, house had a propane tank when we first moved in here, which wasn't ours. They were going to charge us rent and blah, blah, blah. So we bought an electric stove and uh, nothing else was gas in the house. So Tiffany's enjoying her backhoe. <laughs> and essentially our plan is to dig and we're gonna bring from about where the oil tank is, we're gonna bring a line out kind of diagonal up to about where probably the stabilizer arm on the backhoe is. And then we're gonna run loops that way and loops that way. Let's show you how the loops are. So we took these, I can't even see my finger in the sun, these 400 foot rolls of tubing and turned them into slinkies as they're called in the trade. So we zip tied this together, kind of guesstimation mostly, but we're gonna take that and toss it in the hole here shortly after it's long enough and then uh, bury it and, and we'll see what happens with it. All right, so we've got the trench all dug. Tiffany is over there, just putting a little bit of dirt to hold all the loops down. So we've got our loops in here. This line over here is going to be our return. What we're doing is putting about a foot or so of dirt on top of the loops. Then we're going to run the return so that we get a little bit of extra um, heat holding capacity there, I guess you could say. A little more surface area. So what we're going to do next is here at our kind of junction point in our trench, we're going to run loops down this direction. And then, because over here, we're getting into the creek, which is good because water is going to take away heat a lot faster than just dirt alone. So having nice moist ground is gonna help our efficiency and might just be enough to make this work with the amount of pipe that we're putting in. And it's also helpful, let me just walk right down here in the trench with you. You can see that the water table is very high. Right here, that's groundwater. There's no plumbing or anything over here, so we've got water literally probably six feet down in the earth. So that's where we're at. The old backhoe is running happily as can be, and we're making progress. All right. So here's where we're at. We've got six lines zip tied up there, which come down in. These are a combination one here. You can see is a supply line to, this is loop number three. And then we've got, this is our third set of loops all in. So we'll throw some dirt on it, run our return back. Over here, we have a whole mess of hoses all coming together. We've got a little bit of dirt down on these loops, which is one set. And over there is another set of loops. And now we're gonna put some dirt in on this return lines. This pile of hose here is for a third set of loops. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is come up about a foot or two from our return, so we're still below frost line down in where it's nice and cool. And we're gonna do these loops back and around the corner of the trench, back towards where the backhoe is. And we'll bury that. And we'll see, I don't know 
how great and how efficient this is going to be because now a lot of times they say for like for vertical loops you do a 150 foot deep well so you'd have 300 feet of pipe per ton so I've got a five ton unit in there so I should have five 300 feet spans of pipe now that is vertical so it's different because uh, you're going into the water table and stuff but here we're essentially in the water table because we got so much water in here and it is clay which I've heard clay is a better thermal conductor than uh, sand or other things so we've perhaps got a little bit of an advantage there and we will ultimately have 1600 feet of hose so I've got four 400 foot long loops so I don't know if that'll be enough or not but there's only one way to find out and doing it this way is a whole lot cheaper since we already have the backhoe and all we had to do was buy the pipe and everything and put it all together. So we've got our returns kind of separated out a bit here. So Tiff is just trying to knock a little dirt in. I know it probably won't stay all perfect and, you know, pretty like that, but that's okay. We got another set up there going in. I don't remember what all I took video of. This set is all in when you can't use the backhoe to do the digging man you realize just how much work this is now, i'm probably gonna have to jump in here with a rake yeah i'll get down down in there with a rake and uh, tidy some of that up and clean it all up but it's looking good so check back in at the next step here's where we're at all of this over here is buried We've got all four sets of loops in, up to this point right here, where we've left uncovered, brought all the way over. And now let me get down in here without falling over. This point right here, all the way over to the house, Tiffany dug by hand, because I've hurt my back. So, <laughs> she did a great job with it though. So we've separated and we've got blue tape marking one and red tape marking the other. Not necessarily because one is hot and one is cold or in and out, but just so that we could differentiate them. They were nice colors to use. We've separated and made sure that we have each individual loop in here and each individual loop in here. So, you know, we don't have like an in and an out here. These are all one side, these are all the other side. That's all there is to it. Um, we did run into a little issue. Um, I mismeasured a bit when we were making loops, so we've got three lines over here that are too short. So we're gonna have to splice them. I really wanted to avoid splicing them because I didn't want to have connections buried outside where there could be leaks and stuff. I wanted all the connections to be inside and do that, but uh, at this point, it is definitely not worth digging all of that up just to get an extra couple feet of pipe. So that's the current state, the gray uh, conduit there. That's our water line that you saw in the video about the uh, culvert pipe unclogging down there at the end of the driveway. And over there, the little pipe there coming through is a drain from our gutter. So this is where we're at. Essentially, we're gonna bury it up to like the edge of the steps here and then leave this open so that I can splice those lines that I need to splice, leave them open, pressurize the system and everything, and make sure that it's all not leaking and holding pressure good. But we'll just have to see what happens there when we get there. So Tiffany is going to hop in the backhoe and fill this back in, and then we'll update you on the next step.